<laughs> Welcome to the Just Action Podcast, where all we do is take action. I am the one, the only holiday season, and you're here for a reason. Here with some good friends of mine, Josh, Dre. What's up, what's up? What's happening? What's up? Man? I'm about to start telling people on like dating websites, oh, God. what do you do for a podcaster? I'm just a... Uh, so, we didn't even get to five, he already... That's what I'm about to say. Yeah, you already wild. A new segment called... DC document content yep. doing that for thirty days more that shit's like my tough. seventy five hard so that shit's tough uh, yeah yeah you but you know what seventy five hard is yeah, seven point five or seventy okay man. <laughs> no. and that's how and that's how you get out of a second yeah. <laughs> bro we're in we are in an amazing time to become rich and one thing that I like to say is a lot of people talk about it not everybody's doing it. So you see all these people on social media, including ourselves. We t- we're talking about it, but we're actually doing it. It gives off like a, a front, like if everyone's talking about it, not everyone's getting rich. So it's like, there ain't no way it works, bro. Not everyone is doing it. The people that are doing it are getting rich. The people- I, I'm very simple, right? Um, we, we got the philosophy, or I got the philosophy um, from Market Monday. Shout out to Ian. Shout out to EYL. Shout out, Shout out uh, Troy. Yeah, man. What's keep it real simple. One tech, two index. Right? Buy Say it again. Shit, two techs, two index. What? We could really just sit down, pull it up, pull up, like, and we could really dive in. Because I look at charts, you know, all type of shit. But to keep it simple, man, you want to buy the shit you buy. Right? Yes. You buy the shit you buy. Buy the shit you use. I genuinely believe in three to four years, the number one um, thing for incarceration will be tax fraud. I think that... Mother- they don't know what they're doing. Well, this it's it's the it's the perfect recipe for failure that they set us up with because you have TurboTax, mm. which can instantly file taxes without anyone looking at your shit, and you have Robinhood, which you can sign up with your social security number and invest and sell, and they don't take taxes. Like, bro, everywhere else, their government does taxes for them. Oh yeah, because I, I bro, it's a setup. That. It's it a is. setup. It's it like Blockbuster didn't make money off of the rental; they made money off the late Fuck fees. Up. Yeah, yep. and that's, and that's oh, what that's really what the talk, IRS does. Because you know, how, have y'all ever came outside to your car being repo? Bookie yeah. like volleyed me one, but so I was out with my boy. We were getting Buffalo Wild Wings, right? Yeah, like, and I had like a beater truck, oh. and I was like at this time I was like low key living out my truck. Like mm. I had all my shit in my truck. Yeah, okay. and I come outside and my truck is gone, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yo, what the? F-? So I'm like, yo, someone stole my truck. <laughs> So I call my dad. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm like, dad, somebody stole my truck. And my dad, my phone's silent. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, <laughs> I go, what you mean? <laughs> he said, Josh, I'm going to get you your truck back. Right? I just told like two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Bro. And then to make matters worse, for some reason, I didn't know my license plate number. Oh, man. So I'm calling the place. And I'm like. Giving them my license plate number, thinking it's exactly correct. Like, I'm saying, I'm like, yo, it's this, da 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 They were like, yeah, we don't have that car. They're hella rude. Bro, yeah, and I'm like. Like, you've this, been owing them? Bro, my I car mean, is gone. Yeah, I woke up like, and my car is gone. Facts, you rude with me, like, facts. please. Bro, that should be illegal. Help me. Bro, my dad went to Aaron's, got our whole crib done with uh, Aaron's furniture, yeah, furniture, right? Yeah. I'm talking computer, everything. Damn. Ran up we credit card, bro. Ran up credit card. My dad was ducking them. Oh, man. <laughs> Didn't pay the shit, right? Oh, man. Knocking on the door. Want our couch and shit. like oh, y'all got y'all got y'all got to get up type. Shit. They don't because, bro. After I mean, granted, rightfully so. Yeah, we yeah, didn't yeah, pay yeah. for it, but like, you're not getting the so couch you, back either. So like, so what'd you do? I, I didn't do not shit. You. I, mean, I'm sorry, your I, I slept do? on the back? couch, bro. Switching from a consumer mindset to like a producer mindset. In that spot, you literally are in this like rat race of con- consumption. You're gonna go there, you're gonna work this job, it's gonna pay your bills, and it's like just enough to get by. Mm. But if you found a way to like produce, and it doesn't have to be, it don't even have to be stocks. Like that can be one at like one uh, yeah. stream of income. But like if you wanted to produce shirts, or if you wanted to produce something that you produce, like you're no longer becoming the consumer of the situation. You're finding a way to be on the opposite side and potentially either sell or find a way to create more income how much energy it takes us to get mad like just really think about that how like if you like when let's say something pisses you off bro how much energy does it take you to really just just think about that power right? of now 
you, exactly. You're not sitting in the now. Once you get mad, you're, you're replaying the same you're thing gone. over and over. Yeah, that should be getting me bad. You're though. gone, yeah. bro. That should be getting me <laughs> bad. And then it <laughs> every, like, you don't even hey. feel right, bro. Like, yeah, whole Oh, uh, bro, my, I'll be shaking. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, so that bro. just imagine how much power that takes room. away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> Dude, anything you want, you have to be able to let it go. So I think especially me, like I'm learning this concept be, through you guys as well. Like if I want money and I, I'm so focused on it, like hyper focused on it. And I've had the conversation with both of you guys, but both of your answers were similar, but contrasting in a way, but they both said, bro, you have to let that go. Like you have to understand that, that you have to put the risk of putting your money out there to get money back. I've learned to shoot super far right and shout out to my brother Quay he's really the one who kind of instilled that shit in me at a younger age man we was young started selling cars and shit our goal was like yeah we need to 10 cars or whatever he's like bro what the fuck is 10 cars like 10 yeah, cars is your minimum paycheck bro like our our number one is 25 let's go for 40 if we get 35 30 we're still shooting everybody out the water and then I seen what came with that and the money and I'm like oh I think this ties in with everything that we've been talking about and I I think it's very vital, not only for financial aspect, but just in life. It's not about the timing. It's about time. Say it again. That was hard. It's not about the timing. You don't have to worry about getting in at the perfect time. It's time in the game. How time. long have you been doing it? 